All right, man, we are back. We are back with, with, with more first world problems, of course. More first world problems. So, having a discussion at work, and we were talking about your favorite meals. Like, what is your favorite meal? Like, if you, let's say it's your birthday, all right? Let's say it's your birthday, and someone asks you, hey, what's your favorite meal? I got you. Now, I ain't talking about going out. I'm talking about them pots smacking, all right? So, here go mine. Barbecue chicken, some mac and cheese, either some, either or greens or cabbage, some sweet potatoes, not, not candy yams, sweet potatoes, and a nice piece of cornbread, man. Oh, yeah. That's that big southern bang. <laughs> you feel me? That big southern bang. Yeah, so let me know down below in the comments, what's your favorite meal? If you ask birthday, special day, what is your favorite meal? No fast food. Pots smacking. Let me know. First row of problems. This is a real situation here. Weekly rotation. Let's go. What is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, it's your guy one more time, Deirdre L. Hicks Jr., and I'm indeed back with yet another fragrance video. But we are back again with the weekly rotation, all right? So before we get into it, man, uh, covering the fragrances that I wore every day during the week of May the 7th, of course, smell good family. How are you guys, man? Hopefully everyone is doing well, doing fantastic, positive energy and positive vibes. I really hope that everything that can be going great, if it's at all possible, I hope that it is. And of course, if you're going through a tough time right now, I'm hoping, I'm praying, and I'm wishing for things to turn around for you, your loved ones, everything that's around you in a rapid pace, all right? So let's get into it. Every fragrance that I wore during the week of May 7th, I debuted three new fragrances. I wore some staples because I celebrated my birthday last week, all right? And we'll get to what I want on my birthday in just a second. But first, let's get to Sunday. On Sunday, I debuted a new fragrance to my collection. Uh, it was a birthday gift, and I've learned to love this stuff very quickly from the house of Dior. All right, we have Dior Ohm 2020 EDT. Dior Ohm 2020 EDT. Man, where have I been, bro? I've already done a full review on this thing, man, and I overly enjoy this. This is a great, versatile fragrance for any time and any place. Um, on Sunday, man, I wore this to, I did a lot on Sunday, actually. I did a lot, and this was my fragrance of choice. Um, and it just smells terrific, man. That fresh, spicy, uh, slight fruitiness, uh, musky, woodsy. Just to me, man, this is a classic, versatile scent, man. And I know there's a lot of uproar about the iris versus non-iris. To me, it really doesn't matter. I think Dior gave something new with removing iris, which I love iris. But this stuff held me down for sure on Sunday. Um, I can't say enough great things about it. I'm going to continue to wear it for sure. But Dior Ohm uh, 2020 was my fragrance of choice on Sunday. Really, really, really dig this stuff. Good stuff. Dior Ohm 2022, man. Good stuff. All right. All right, let's move along to Monday. Monday was my actual birthday on May the 8th. I was born into this world. Shout out to my moms for sure. And this was my scent. I've worn this scent the last three years on my birthday. I don't know what it is. You know, it just gets me in that mood, man, to celebrate and, you know, have my head held extra high because I'm celebrating another year of life from the house of Creed. Y'all probably know what it is. Creed Aventus. Creed Aventus. All right. I don't care what the conversation is about Creed Aventus. I don't care that the fragrance community, because there's really a lot of hate towards this fragrance out of a sudden. And I get it because you see it a lot. Well, you're going to keep seeing it for me because it is a top two DNA period this and blue de chanel you'll hear about that later but on my birthday creed aventus it was fitting i felt great i smelled great i got a couple of compliments and this is just 
the king, as they say, and I enjoyed every uh, opportunity I had to smell this stuff coming off of me and the compliments that I got as I celebrated my birthday, all right? So on my birthday, May the 8th, on Monday, Creed Aventus was my fragrance of choice, and I still love this stuff. Despite all of the clones, all of the hate, all the batch numbers, this batch numbers that I am one, who does not care, all right? All right, on Tuesday, we went with this fragrance, man, and it is a banger, and I love it. From the house of Afnan, we went with Tarathi Blue. Tarathi Blue, all right? As all of you mostly know by now, this is a direct inspired by fragrance from Bulgari's Taiga. And it is a darn good one for sure, man. Now I have several samples of Tyga, and in comparison to this, it's really close. It's really close, but this one right here, the ambery touch and colliding with the citrus sweetness and the musk, man, it's just great. It's just great, it can't miss. I really enjoy this. I get excellent, excellent performance from this stuff, man. You can get this for a great price. And uh, Afnon did a fantastic job. As y'all can see, man, let me see if y'all can catch the dent in this bottle. I don't know if y'all can see it with my studio light, but I put a nice little dent in this Tarathi Blue, and it's really good, man. Super good. On Tuesday, from the house of Afnon, we went with Tarathi Blue. Great for the spring, great for the summer. I haven't worn it this much this summer, but I did, uh, well, summer isn't officially here yet, but I've worn it a lot during the spring, and I gotta think I'll be wearing it during the summer, all right? Up next on Wednesday, a fragrance that is a top five for me personally in this house, from this house, and it uh, could be top three. It's just excellent. From the house of Mancera, all right? We went with Aoud Lemon Mint. Aoud Lemon Mint. Man, this was probably my most complimented fragrance of the week. This and then it's tied with another one, but Aul Lemon Mint is beautiful. It is one of the, it is, it is so unique. There's not a lot of DNAs out there like this. That candy, lemon, fresh, spicy, zesty, citrus, musky, ambery type of vibe. This is sexy. This is probably one of my most sexier, one of my sexier fragrances in all of my collection. And in the summertime, me personally, I wear this a lot more during the summer evenings and summer nights, but I wear this to the office and that's what I did with this one because I just felt like it. <laughs> I just felt like it and it performs like a beast. Um, I don't know about batch code variations or none of that, but this is, is excellent stuff. Excellent. From the House of Man Sarah on Wednesday, we went with Aoud Lemon Mint. Aoud Lemon Mint. All right. On Thursday, we went with one of the better cheapies in the game that kind of has a love and hate vibe to it. I personally have loved it since I've got it in my collection. From the House of Latafa, we went with Ejazzy Silver. Ejazzy Silver. Now, at first when I got this, I did get a touch of Lana Wheat DeLong Blue Electric feel to it. I've already put out a review on this and I feel like I need to put out another one because my thoughts have changed about a couple of things, but they're all for the better, but we'll talk about that later. This right here is so nice for the price, for what you pay and what you get, it's criminal. It's one of those criminal, price fragrances. You can get this for 20 bucks or under. And what you get is this beautiful mandarin orange, which I love orange, mandarin orange fragrances. You get this amber, you get this musk, you get this uh, uh, aquatic type of feel to it. And and, and you don't get nothing uh, too harsh or alcoholic in the opening. It's very minimum. But once this thing gets to the mid and the dry down, this stuff shines, man. Now I've seen people say they don't get a lot of you know great performance with this thing. I do on my skin and off my clothes. I got around that seriously. I got around that eight to nine hour mark. Now I'm not a light sprayer by any means. I'm gonna spray like this one. I spray this around seven to eight times and it worked for me the whole day. I typically work around nine to 10 hours a day and um, this just held me down. And I got several compliments, several, several, no lie. This was um, this was up there with one of my most complimentary complimented fragrances of the week, especially in the office. E-Jazzy Silver, listen, 
20 bucks. If you want something of, 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 of a DNA like I described, look into this. As far as the line of wheat, the loam, and blue electric type of vibe, it's very minimal. It's in there, I do smell it, but it's, it's very minimal. It's very, very minimum, but this stuff is good. On Thursday, from the house of Latafa, E-Jazzy Silver, bang for your buck, That's it's definitely on that list. E-Jazzy Silver. Really good performance as well, off my skin, off my skin. All right, on Friday, we're gonna keep it short and sweet with this one, even though this is my favorite fragrance of all time. Uh, not this version, but this house has produced it, and the version is the parfum, but we got Blue de Chanel on Friday, the EDP. I'm almost done with this bottle. I don't know if y'all can see the juice in there, but I'm almost done. Listen, man, I just was running late for work. <laughs> I got up, didn't want to think about anything, opened up the cabinet, blew the Chanel, grabbed it, bam, 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 out the door. That's typically what it was, and it just didn't disappoint. I'm always reminded of how good this DNA is. I'm always reminded of how this EDP concentration can be worn in any type of arena, uh, any type of situation, it can just over deliver. And I'm being a little biased because this is my favorite DNA by far, even though that Creative Ventures DNA is running up on it, but this is number one. Just didn't want to think about it. Smell good, I, it smells good, I smell great. And uh, it just delivered on Friday from the house of Chanel. We went blue to Chanel, the EDP. I almost done with this bottle, but don't worry. Backup bottle is already on deck, all right? All right, on Saturday, on Saturday, I debuted two, two fragrances uh, for the first time. And this one right here, I got this for a birthday gift as well. Let's see, we got one, we got two birthday gifts, all right, from this past week, from the house of Eve St. Laurent. We have YSL, Y EDP Intense. EDP Intense, all right, got this for a birthday gift. And honestly, this is the one that is just the versatile, most versatile out of all of them. This is the most versatile in any time. EDT, both versions, EDP, Le Parfum, this is the most versatile for me. There's no green apple in here um, at all. You got juniper berry and geranium. There's no aldehydic explosion with this one at all. But this one definitely comes off as the balance, the most balanced out of them all. Now, Le Parfum is my favorite. The EDT, the Eau Fraiche, um, the EDP, they're all good. But this one, for me, honestly speaking, if I just want a balanced version of uh, Y, the Y DNA, then I'm gonna go with this one. I'm talking about, this is best suited for me for the office. This is the best suited for me if I'm just really chilling and lounging around. Um, this is this is kind of like for Car Black from Latafa, um, but it's just a little bit more smooth. It will balance, I ain't gonna say smooth because the late performance is smoother, but I'm gonna do a full review on this coming up shortly. But on Saturday, good wear to the office. I had to work on Saturday morning. It just fit perfectly, man. Uh, YSL Wise, EDP, Intense. Love that bottle. This might be my favorite bottle because of the blue. And then on Saturday, man, I came home, took a shower, got freshened up, had to run right back out, and it was blazing. It was 100 degrees, and I decided to debut this fragrance from Paris Corner from the Amir line. We have Just Bergamot. Just Bergamot. This is cloning Le Labo's, um, what is it, uh, Bergamot 22. Somebody's blowing me up. Bergamot 22. And uh, it is ultra, 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 ultra nice, all right? Citrusy, a, a touch of floral, got a little uh, ambery vanilla sweetness in the dry down. I got a compliment in my local Ross, all right, uh, when I was in there wearing this fragrance. And uh, it performs pretty decent, man. I get around five to six hours. That's all I needed going out in the heat, running some errands and making my way back. Good quality here. Just very, very, very nice. I'll be doing a full review on this one uh, rather soon. But this is great for the summertime. We're looking for an everyday summer fragrance. Just moving around out and about. This is something to definitely consider. All right. So on Saturday afternoon, evening, to wrap up my day, we went with a Just Bergamot from the Amir line from the house of Paris Corn. Really dig this stuff, 
All right. All right. So that is my weekly rotation for the week of May 7th, my birthday week. Thank you all for the lovely birthday wishes. Thank you for all the comments, the emails, the DMs, everything to wish me a happy birthday. Thank you guys so, so, so much. All right. So as you know, this is my favorite video of the week. Let me know down below in the comments. What did you guys wear? Let me know. What was your highs? What was your lows? Tell your boy down in the comments. And I love to the interaction. I love to communicate back with you guys. All right. So uh, let me know. All right. So until next time, man, y'all be cool. Be safe. Take care of yourselves. And y'all know the drill, man. Invest in you. Put time into you. And while you're at it, splack up, splack it down, splack it that thing all around for sure. All right. So y'all be cool and be easy. Remember, what's that favorite dish, man? Let me know. Not dish, but that meal. Yeah, let me know. All right.